Hey everyone, uh, back in the land of the living today, quarantine day six. I've showered, I've washed my hair, put a bit of slap on, <coughs> given myself a mental slap around the face. Thanks for your messages, you know how much I love them and uh, I hope you're all okay. I've got to keep this really brief because I just did a video and it was 15 minutes long and it won't let me post it. But uh, this is for the girls, for the ladies who are going to be travelling full time or for an extended amount of time in their motorhomes. Um, just a couple of the things that I took with me, which I had had with me. Um, so I'm going to be quick and I'm going to be brief. Right, so number one, the best moisturiser that you can buy or your favourite moisturiser but buy two. Sometimes you can't buy moisturisers in places your skin is going to get super dry being out, oh, hair's horrible, super dry being outside all the time. Um, I ended up having to buy a horrible pot of Nivea like lard on your face because my face was so dry so that's top tip number one buy a moisturiser that's probably heavier than you're used to and an SPF for your face because it will burn. Uh, so that's number one. Number two, um, hair dye. If you're a girl who likes to have a hair dyed, uh, if you want to save some cash and you don't want the aggro of trying to find a hairdresser when you're travelling, buy three or four of your favourite box dyes um might seem a bit vain but actually when you're traveling it's quite nice to have a spruce up um so yeah so that's moisturizer hair dye um because you you won't be able to get the color that you want when you're away uh number three lip balm i used a gallon of lip balm some of them were a bit cheap and cheerful and absolutely rubbish you it's gonna get your lips when you're outdoors on the beach walking on your bike so Get a really good quality uh, lip balm, one or two. Um, oh, back to hair. It gets so dry, like tinder dry, like straw with the wind and all of that. So um, a hair mask. Take a really good quality hair mask to sit with. Um, sit, put it on your hair and then just sit and leave it on in the evenings or when you're pottering around in the day. Uh, there's a Percy and Reed one that you can buy online and you can buy at Waitrose, uh, which I bought my daughter-in-law, who says it's the best hair mask she's ever had. Uh, so, yeah, hair mask, um, hot water bottle. I could not have lived without my hot water bottle. Um, it's been absolutely amazing for everything. When we've hurt our backs, which we have, uh, when the dogs have been cold, when the weather's got cold, because believe me, it, the weather can change Portugal was the coldest winter in 15 years. So yeah, back pain, period pain, keeping the dogs warm, uh, warm in bed, movie day, uh, back rest. <sighs> Take two. I had one. I wish I'd had two and they're thin and they're tiny. Um, so that's that. Makeup. Ditch all the makeup that you think you're going to need to take with you because I promise you, you are not going to need it. I love makeup and I used to do a full face every day at home. I really struggled to pare down. You know, I only took two blusher brushes and one bronzer and four eyeshadow. God knows what I was thinking. But anyway, so I went from this great big bag and actually at one point a great big trunk. I had 35 lipsticks. I took two. I think I used it once. Um, I went down to that size. And even that is too big enough. So let me tell you, uh, a really good quality tinted moisturiser with an SPF, because that's plenty. I've got like a nice like eyebrow brush thing uh, that I use. Good old Rimmel. That has been brilliant. Just to tidy up your brows, give them a bit of shape. Um, an eyeliner. So yeah, tinted moisturiser with SPF brow pencil or brush, um, lip gloss, lip balm, maybe one lipstick, an eye pencil and mascara. Boom. Done. Go for it, ladies. Be free. Leave it all at home because now I'm repacking Heidi. I feel like a right nana. I didn't need the spare bag of makeup brushes and eyeshadows. I'm not even going to use them now. So that's all going in the bin. Um, 
Oh my God, let's talk. I'm going to say it. I'm going to get it out there. There's nothing to be ashamed of and we all have them. Periods. There, I've said it. Um, if you've got like a preference for like certain sanitary products, I would say buy in bulk and take them with you because some countries aren't going to have what you like to use. You may not even be able to get to a supermarket or a pharmacy. Um, so yeah, stock up on what you prefer um, and take it with you. And while we're on the subject of our lady bits, um, I was proper poorly when we were away. I think it was, I don't know, change of water, a bit of stress and all the change. But I got a really nasty urinary infection, had to chase around trying to find medical centres and doctors. It was expensive. It was inconvenient. There was a language barrier. Oh, my God, it was it was tricky and I did feel really poorly. So uh, get your lady bit first aid kit sorted out you can go into a chemist here and buy everything you need now for all of that kind of stuff so uh make sure that you stock up on that would be one of my top tips um i'm trying to think what else i think that's about it for now and i wanted to be quick and brief to keep the video short so i don't bore you all to tears um or body lotion body lotion um, I didn't have anywhere near enough body lotion with it. It's dry, like tinder dry the skin was. Sometimes the water's hard. Um, oh, yeah. Hair. Get used to not drying your hair because probably you're not going to be able to because you can't plug your dryer in anywhere. Um, you might be able to if you're on campsites, but take an array of things to tie your hair back with, tie your hair, uh, dry your hair up with. I took these. My hair's thin and horrible anyway. But um, yeah, so I sort of went up with the messy bun, just clipped it together with that. Hides a multitude of sins and grease. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it for me for now. But as I'm clearing and making lists, I'm going to let you know all the things that I wish I'd had with me. Not just for the girls, but just in general. Um, but also, I'm really interested to know your top tips and what you can't live without in your motorhome. So uh, comment or message me and uh, let me know.